One time, talking about Roger Miller, one time I was in Branson, and Roger called me, and we were talking, and he said, well, Mary and I are fixing to go eat lunch and take the kids. You want to go with us? And I said, well, I'm not ready, Roger. He said, well, if you get ready, we're going. And he told me where they were going. I didn't go because I went back to sleep. A year later, almost to the day, I'm back in Branson, and he's there. My phone rings, and I pick it up, and Roger said, you ready yet? <laughs> Well, this was after Roger had made it, and he was uh, in the Brown Derby uh, in L.A. one night, and Frank Sinatra was in there, and Roger had this girl in there with him, and uh, so he goes over to Frank's table, and he, you know, he, he introduces himself to him, and he says, you know, like Mr. Sinatra, I'm Roger. He says, yeah, Roger, I know who you are. He said, well, listen, he said, would you do me a great favor? He said, this would be the coolest thing I've ever done. And he said, what's that? He said, I've got this girl in here tonight I'm really trying to impress. He said, is there any chance you would just come by the table and say, hi, Roger, like we're old buddies? He said, sure, you know, I'll do that. So Roger goes back to the table with this girl, and a little while later, Sinatra comes over to his table and says, hey, Roger, how you doing? And Roger says, not now, Frank, I'm busy. <laughs> Roger went up behind oh. Ronnie Millsap put his hands over his ears and said, guess who? <laughs> he was stopped by a traffic cop, and the cop says, uh, can I see your license? And Roger says, can I shoot your gun? <laughs> I love what he told Johnny Cash that time. He said, don't ever put your pills and your change in the same pocket. He said, I just swallowed 35 cents. <laughs>